Hey, what's up, everyone? Bubble Kings here, and welcome back to some more Paladins. Today, we are going to be playing Fernanda here, and let's take a quick look at our cards. So, to start us off, we have Running Start. Gain 40% movement speed after using Charge. Secondly, we have Safe Travel. Gain a 750 damage shield for 5 seconds after using Charge. So, both of these cards work really well with Heat Transfer here, which reduces the coordinate of Charge by 3 seconds for every 1,000 damage our shield takes. So, hopefully, we'll throw our shield up. We'll take a bunch of damage, and we're going to keep charging around with increased movement speed and a personal shield, which will protect us, and at the same time, we'll be able to move around to dodge damage and get into positions to protect our team. So it will be really, really tanky and hard to hit. So we're going to go for our shield up. I'm going to run straight at Victor here to try and scare him. There we go. He's going to pull back towards our team, so that's going to be an easy pickup for them. Ying's going to get picked up as well. I'm going to go move over here. We get our little shield from charge, also some move speed, so it's going to be a bit hard for him to hit us. Now we're going to go on this side, try and protect our friends by standing in front of Makoa here. We're going to just use our body there since we didn't have our shield up at the time. And now we're going to push forward and try and keep him away from the actual point. We do have a couple of people on us, so we don't have to stand on it personally. We can stand a bit off it and shield people. Oops, now we have to get on it though. Okay, we're just going to stand on this. It looks like our team's just going to easily be able to clean them up here, though. I'm going to shoot out a fireball, try and get some damage down. From the back here. Oh, jeez. Okay. Took a bit of damage there, not too much. But we got the payload. Let's go jump on it. Start moving it. And this is what we're going to be doing most of the game. We're going to be on the payload, trying to protect it. If our team needs a bit of protecting, we'll throw up our shield for them as well. We're going to uh, try and stop that illusion from taking out our friend there. Because our Cassie is a bit low, so we have to watch out. She should be out of combat soon, though. What's her HP on? She's on half HP. She's getting a bit of healing from the payload. So we're going to let her stand on it. And then we're going to move forward, try and block some more damage. Uh, we'll get back here because she's gone off the payload now because she's healed up. And we should be able to push this in soon. We want to try and get our shield off cooldown before we come around the corner here. Because we're going to be absorbing a lot of damage here. There's a lot of people here. Try and absorb some. Gonna run through, try and scare him a bit. Get our little shield. Okay, there's a Drogas on top we have to watch out for. Okay, what we're gonna do, I think, here, actually, is we're gonna go around the top. We'll throw our shield down to get the cooldown start going. And we're gonna try and scare this guy off here. Going to charge into him to get our shield. We have a lot of HP, so we're not worried about his salvos. And that'll allow us to push us in this last bit here. Oh, we're going to run towards him here. With increased movement speed, we can dodge his ults. We're going to go pull back. He's going to start shooting into us. We're going to go charge through him for that shield and a bit of damage on him. Do it again. Okay, now our shield's down. We're going to try and take him out. We're in a bit of trouble here, though. There's a lot of people. Yeah. Too many people for us to deal with. Unfortunately. Okay. Well, we got the payload really, really close here, so... That's good. We just have to get this tiny last bit in. I'm going to try and protect this Cassie here, I think. Yeah, while we move forward. Try and absorb some. Charge through. Be really annoying. I'm going to charge through again. Just keep absorbing damage. Hopefully our team... Get here soon to help us. Jeez. Okay, we need to go pull back because our shield is off cooldown at the moment. We're a bit slow from explosive flask by Pip here, but that's fine. Oh. Okay. Get to the payload. Watch out for this ult. Hug the left wall so he can't hit us. Get over here to protect our friends against the enemy ying and stuff. Oh. Okay, we're absorbing a bit of damage. There's a lot of angles that can come from though. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we're trying to absorb the damage from Ying there because no one on our team was focusing them, so I was worried they weren't going to be able to see her damage incoming, where they were focusing everyone on the right there. So, I left those people to uh, be able to hit our team because our team knew where they were and they could dodge their attacks and stuff. We're going to get Kronos here because we want to try and reduce the cooldown of, obviously, our charge if we don't get the reset from our shield, but also our shield cooldown in general. Because we when we have that up, we're almost pretty much like invulnerable because we just constantly get our charges off, which we pretty much get like a free 750 shield per second, which is really nice. 
We also get a bit of healing from um, Last Stand here. And we have our shield up, which helps. Okay, let's go throw this up. Gonna uh, charge for here. Gonna charge again. We want to get one charge off just before our shield comes down. But that way we can get another charge straight away once that charge shield goes down. Okay. Let's watch out. Our team's gone ahead, so we're gonna try and quickly get this point before they all die. Hopefully they don't all die. And we should be able to just stay back here. We're gonna throw up our shield in case McCullough goes for us, but he's not. Gonna throw it down straight away, because I want the cooldown to get back ASAP. And uh, let's see. Is anyone around here? Before I saw someone come, no. Okay, you shouldn't be able to damage us, so we do have a couple of walls up. Oh, I tried to jump to block that salvo there, but it's just too high. Gonna charge forward. And try and find some people. If I increase moving speed, that's fine. We don't want to run too far off the payload here. They're sort of jumping on our team from behind, so I'm a bit worried there. I'm gonna go throw up my shield for our... Oh, damn. Just too late there. I want to try and protect the Grok, but we're just too slow to get onto it. I'm going to come down here, distract him while Sky picks him up. Sky picks him up. Yeah, there we go. And then we should be able to push forward. I want to push a bit further in front of the payload. So we have a bit of mo um, room to move around here. Go around this side. Try and distract him as much as possible. Okay, we're a bit slow here because I think we got hit by explosive flasks. So we're going to... Take a while to move, put up our shield, get over here, where's the payload, push it in slowly, absorb a bunch of damage, okay he's going to jump over that way, going to charge into him to get a hit off, and we're going to just distract these people as long as possible, okay we should be able to keep distracting her, where are they, Makoa, oh damn, too slow on the ult there. I wanted to try and get the ult down so we could uh, save our team, but just didn't work. Okay, we'll try and protect our Sky here while we'll pull back. We still got a um, Grok over there actually, which is quite helpful. Gonna run for here with a shield. Can we push this in? No. Oh, someone just on the edge here. Damn! I was trying to sneak it in because we knew Pip um, ran off the point there. And he was the original one that was stopping us pushing us in, so... I thought we might be able to sneak it in there, but... Just couldn't get it. Uh, let's see. We could try to do that again. We just throw up our shield and run in there. Usually the enemy's natural instinct is to run away once you throw up your shield. So like we'll throw up our shield and they usually try and run away. This Victor on the other hand, he's just trying to run through us. But um, yeah, see like they all pull off because they get, obviously they can't fight through the shield. So it looks like they're trying to stay on to the point here because it's the last point for them. Oh man, that payload is so big. Oh shit. Watch out for that ult. We can hold out for a while here. We got our shield up. Trying to protect our Cassie here. Just trying to run through to keep getting this shield. Okay, that's gonna clear him off the point. Nice job, Sky. Yeah, there's no way it would go down um, the point with Sky out there. So let's see, how much shielding did we get down? So 100k shielding. Which isn't too bad saying we spent a lot of time on the payload where they weren't really um, fighting us on. Because what usually happened is we would like have the initial fight, we'll absorb a bunch of damage, but then they wouldn't be able to push up towards the capture point. Because our team would move forward obviously to keep them off it. And that allowed us to easily just capture it without taking damage or anything like that. But yeah, as you can see our damage is low, but that sort of makes sense because we're trying to shield most of the time. So you're not really dealing too much damage with this build. You sort of rely on your team to be able to kill off the enemy while you're absorbing all the damage. You see here though, like, you can see all their damage is quite low, but that's mostly because we're absorbing tons of it with our shield, so that's probably why their damage numbers are actually a bit lower than they should be. But yeah, you get lots of points with this uh, build, obviously, because you're on the capture point the whole time so that's why we have the most credits on the team so you never really run low on getting burn cards and that's really useful because Kronos is really helpful obviously Haven and stuff is really helpful so you can always pretty much get the cards you want 
Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.